How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode. On today's video, we'll be doing the living, dining and study area on the ground floor. So if you've been following along with all the videos before, you would know that we are in the living and kitchen area at the moment. This area here is where our sort of island bench will be going. The kitchen is on the, along this back wall and we have a butler's pantry going into this room in the back. And then just behind me in front of the kitchen, we have a sliding door leading out to the very front yard. This area is pretty much the living dining area onto the study at the back over here. From the living area, we also have the staircase, which will be going in pretty soon. This leads to the upper level living area and onto all the bedrooms and all that. Now, unlike some of the other rooms, we have the living and dining area. So this will be where everyone sits down and watch TV. So what we'll be needing to put in is data outlets and a bunch of PowerPoints. So in the study now, we'll have data and power over here where I expect someone may want a TV. We'll also have data and power over there. So when someone's in the kitchen, they can look out and watch the TV. And it's pretty much PowerPoints all over the house, just so if they want to move some stuff around, they're free to do so in the future. And with the plumbing, the only plumbing in this area downstairs really is pretty much for the kitchen and the butler's pantry in here. It's mainly just in the island bench and the bench behind, but there's no real plumbing anywhere else in this ground level apart from the laundry, which we'll be doing in the next episode. With that all done, the next stage is pretty much all the wall sheeting. So downstairs, we're just gonna be doing gyprock ceilings with cornices and this nice skirting all around. Um, for the kitchen, we'll be doing a bulkhead uh, 2.4 meters, I think, from the ground level, just so all the above ground cabinetry all works and fits in really well. And then once that's all done, we begin with the joinery install for the kitchen, butler's pantry, and I'm pretty sure that is it for the ground level. This area that I'm in now is the butler's pantry area. So over here, I think it's just a microwave and a joinery bit. And then over here is a, another cabinet with a spare sink. And I think it's also a zip uh, hot water tap going in here as well. After all the joinery and the walls are all sheeted and the electrical and plumbing is all done, we'll then also be doing all the flooring. So what we're doing is that same engineered timber floating floor as we do upstairs, just to keep that consistency. This timber floor also matches the exact sort of pattern as the stairs as well, so it all ties in for the house. With that all said and done, we can now begin the works for the ground level living, study and kitchen area. But unlike some of the other rooms where we did the rough-ins right after the framing stage, because the kitchen is pretty much entirely a slab on ground area, what we did is we did the rough-in during the slab preparation stage and we poured around it and it kept all the pipes underground. As you can see here, we have the outlet for the island bench for the sink. Here we have a gas line running through to service the stove and the oven. And running through the walls, we have the hot and cold water coming through the walls and across the ceiling space. So continuing on from that last part of the video, it's been about a week now and what we've done is we've created the bulkhead for the kitchen area so the joinery can finish flush up against the ceiling as well as the ceiling for the entire study area over there and the living and dining area. In that week as well, what we've done is completed all the plumbing, electrical and AC rough-ins. So as you can see in the kitchen, we have water running to the island bench with some electrical lights hanging down from the ceiling, some LEDs, as well as power outlets, just for the any kitchen appliances, as well as one up high for the fridge. Into the living and dining area, there's not much work that needs to be done. We have the AC work running through. This leads up to bedrooms two and bedrooms three, and over there leads up to the ensuite area in the master bedroom. So because this part of the room is for the living and dining area, there's not much plumbing works apart from that leading on kitchen area, but we have over here, we have power, aerial and data for a TV space to go in. We also have a couple PowerPoints on the corner over there, just lying around this area in case there's any appliances that need to go in in the future. Leading onto the study area over here, it's pretty much exactly the same situation as the living and dining area. We have a couple outlets for any appliances that go in in the future, as well as a point over here for data, aerial and power for a TV to go in. Also in the kitchen space as well, we've got the butler's pantry. This here is for the little butler's pantry sink going in and a waste for that. 
also have some power here. This one was added in because we're gonna be doing a zip tap just so we can have instant boiling and chilled water as well as any other little extra power points, light switches and a couple of other power points over there just for any extra appliances. So now that all the electrical, plumbing and AC works are done and roughed in, we can move on to the next stage, which will be to sheet all the walls and the ceilings in just a, a standard plain gyp rock. We'll also, after that, be moving on to the joinery in just the kitchen area, as well as the joinery for the island bench and stone tops. Once that's all done, we'll then move on to the flooring in pretty much this entire ground floor area. That will be keeping that consistent engineered timber flooring from the upstairs area, continuing it down with this ground floor slab. While we're also on the living and dining video, under the stairs here is where we have the solar unit gonna go in here, as well as the hot water unit to feed hot water to the rest of the house. So as you can see behind me and on that video before, what we've done is finish sheeting the entire ground level area. So this is what the area looks like now. We have the living dining over here, kitchen over here, and the study over here leading onto the stairs, which should be going in this week. So for the next stage for me, what we're gonna be moving onto is the setting and sanding stage. So that pretty much means we're gonna start filling all these cracks in the walls and all the screw holes. Um, as well as put corners and all, around all the windows just so it's a nice, neat finish, ready for painting. For those who haven't seen it, this is the underlay here going in beneath the engineered timber flooring going here later, as you can see out here in the hallway. But we have a rubber, pretty much just a rubber roll. Um, it's about three mil thick. And then what they're gonna do is they glue this down, then they put glue on top of it, and then they lay the timber flooring on top of that. For those who are curious about it, because I mentioned it quite a bit throughout this entire build, this is the engineered timber flooring that I've been talking about. So this is the finished side, the face-up side that's gonna be going down the floor. From the other side, it's just a bit of timber. It looks like ply when you look at it from the side with a, like a nice finish that's being glued on top. Um, for the fixing of it, we have a tongue and groove install. So this is the groove side here towards my face and we have the tongue on the other side. These just, these pieces literally just lock in together um, and what they do to fix it down is they lay that uh, rubber underlay that I had up before and then they literally just put a bit of glue on top and lay this directly on top and then they will weigh it down with some, in my case, they're just laying some boxes on top of the old stuff just to weigh it down until it sets and goes off.
So as you see from that time lapse and you can see behind me, we've done all the flooring in the downstairs kitchen, study and the living area, carrying through to that rear laundry going out to the back patio. And as you can see, this is the finished floor for the downstairs kitchen, living and the study area over there carrying through down the hallway to that back sort of garage patio area. And what we've done here is we've picked a floor finish that's gonna tie in with the finished uh, look of the staircase. For the staircase, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do a white stringer carrying up the sides here and the white risers and on the top is gonna be a sort of varnish to match the downstairs flooring type as well as the upstairs. What we also did while the floor layer was in is we stacked the floor layer with the joinery install, as you can see behind me. So as the joinery guy was removing the items from the floor, he was putting them into the kitchen and freeing up the space on the floor to let the floor guy go come through and finish off the flooring for this downstairs level. And as you can see, this is the kitchen for the downstairs living. We have the butler's pantry over here, which is also installed. But this is the feature range hood here, the front of it that's gonna get mounted up there just so it sticks out and as, acts as a bit of a feature in this kitchen area. Um, we have the sort of island bench here. We're gonna have a stone, uh, white stone bench top with a sort of light marbly vein running through it. This is also the feature sink. We're gonna have a large uh, tap coming up here, straight into here. And we also have an insincorator going in. Um, this is the back of the kitchen. We've got a stove going here. Uh, range hood, couple cupboards. Um, the fridge will go over here with a dishwasher. And into the butler's pantry on the other side, we have just a couple extra shelves. So we have large overhead ones um, and just some standard ones here. We have also another sink here, as well as a zip instant hot and cold water tap going in. And on the other side, we have just some, some space for a microwave and some extra storage. This area here will sort of be that little extra pantry area as well, since we don't have that cupboard space in the kitchen. While we're in the kitchen to show you around, because the downstairs level, as you can see, has no original VJ, because this is all the extension as the house has been lifted, what I've done is I've gotten the joinery people to install all their joinery pretty much throughout the entire house with this VJ style panel to tie in with the works that we have going upstairs. I've also ordered a sink for the kitchen with a almost a VJ sort of panel towards the front to act as a bit of feature. We also have a feature range hood done in the VJ panel, which will go up there just to break that straight line. That's gonna go here for the cupboards and the range hood. Now that that's all done and the joinery is installed in this downstairs area, what we're gonna be moving on to next is the stonemasons are gonna come in and they're gonna do their final measure of the all the joinery so they can get their uh, stone bench tops all ready throughout the entire house. What I've done here is we're going with a white uh, stone with a sort of a light marble looking vein running throughout the entire thing for pretty much every bit of joinery. Um, then after that we'll have the plumbers and the electricians are going to come in. They're going to do their final fit off for the like tapware, dishwasher, the electricians are going to finish off the power points you can see behind me as well as the stove and the range hood they're going to wire all that up. Um, but you'll see that in the next time lapse and then after that this downstairs area is pretty much all done and we can take you through the final area. On the kitchen as well, we've just had the massive stove just been delivered. So that is this right here. What we've done is we've gone with a sort of stainless steel um, classic look with a, a with gas stove top, just to keep that sort of traditional character and feel throughout the entire house with those sort of appliances. Um, and we also have a dishwasher, which is on its way. That's also gonna have the VJ front as well to tie in with the rest of the joinery throughout the entire house. So everyone, as you can see from behind me and on that time lapse, these splashbacks have gone in, in the kitchens and the butler's pantry, and they've finished off all the tiling throughout the entire house. 
So now that that's all done, the kitchen is pretty much entirely finished. What we're waiting for now is just the electrician to come back and fix those couple power points. Um, now that the splash back's in, the stove is gonna be installed and then we're gonna finish off with the tapware. But apart from that, this entire downstairs living, kitchen and the study area is all complete. So now that that's done, this is the downstairs living, kitchen and the study area over there, which we're just using as a little office at the moment. But we just have some painter's gear left in the house just for final touch-ups. But this is the kitchen. We have gone with that VJ panel and the sort of feature splashback tile. Here we have a large sort of stainless steel um, stove top going in with an oven as well. We have the dishwashers being installed. They've put a matching panel to tie in with the rest of the joinery and our feature sink. And we have a large tap, which is this one here. It's gonna finish off going into the sink in the kitchen. And as we go into the butler's pantry, you can see that we've carried pretty much all the finishes through into here. We've got another new sink. This is a stainless steel one instead of one of those feature big ones, but we've continued the exact same stone, the exact same splashback and the joinery finishes all throughout this room. We've got also got uh, space for a microwave and some storage space up top for any sort of pantry items that you'd keep in a butler's pantry. And then as we walk down to pass the stairs, we go into the study room over here. We're just using this as an office at the moment, just for a bit of extra storage because it's off to the side, but we're going to pretty much be using this as more of like a little, uh, like a formal dining area or just an extra little living area or a TV area. What you might've also noticed is that the crim safe screens have gone in all throughout the house, just on the ground level. Um, upstairs, we've just continued with like a bar sort of security system, um, just so, um, the windows that open outwards unaffected and blocked off by the crim safe screens. And for a bit of extra security on top of the crim safe and the barred screens, we have uh, installed some cameras and motion sensors throughout the entire house, just for that extra little bit of security when you're out or if you're just upstairs at night, you can arm the entire ground level. While we're down in the living area, I'll also show another section of the house that we haven't really touched on before, but this is the staircase leading to the upstairs room just because it's not really any room, but this is it here behind me. This is pretty much done at the moment. So we just have the painters, they're painting the risers and the stringers going up in that same white wall finish, as well as the posts. Um, upstairs, the little, sort of little handrail up there, we got the keeping a timber top with a white balustrade. Um, all up the stairs is a timber finish, but they've just got a little cover over it so they don't get any paint on it. Um, but the next stage for the staircase while we're here is this handrail is gonna be put on. That's getting varnished upstairs at the moment. Um, and the paint is gonna come through and repaint this wall just to get everyone's sort of grubby handprints all off the wall here. Now that that's all done in the downstairs kitchen, living and dining area is pretty much all complete with just those final few little bits to do. What we'll be moving on to next is we're going to pretty much get the house ready for sale. So in the next video, if you keep following along, we're gonna have a full walkthrough of the house, all professionally done so you can see every little bit. Um, and then we'll move on to the sale. So if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.